In this lecture, now we will look at one very important reaction of aldehydes and ketones. It is basically an oxidation reaction of aldehydes and ketones, right? And it is also used as a test, right? For some special for some specific types of aldehydes and ketones, right? So this is your halo form reaction. And halo here stands for, we know it stands for your halogens, right? So if we are using iodoform, if we are using iodine here, we will call it as iodoform reaction. If we are using chlorine, we, we would be calling it as chloroform reaction, right? So here mainly this halo stands for your halogen, right? And it is an oxidation reaction where sodium hypoiodite or sodium hypohalite in general, we will call it as sodium hypohalite, right? It's, the formula is NaOx. X stands for any halogen, right? So this is your sodium hypohalite, right? This is a reaction where sodium hypohalite, right, will oxidize your aldehyde or a ketone, right? Only those aldehydes and ketones that contains CH3CO group. This is the condition. If the aldehyde or a ketone does not contain CH3CO group, then this reaction will not take place. Right? So, if we talk about HCHO, 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 this is your this is your formaldehyde. Since it does not contain CH3CHO, it will not respond to halofoam reaction. Right? And let's talk about acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde contains this CH3CO group, so it will respond to or it will give you this reaction, halofoam reaction. And now if I talk about CH3CH2, this. It does not contain, it contains CH3CH2CO group, right? Which is not same as CH3CO group, right? So this will not give you halofoam reaction. Only this will give you halofoam reaction. This will not give you halofoam reaction. So now other aldehydes, if we talk about any other aldehydes, it will contain different alkyl groups, not this alkyl groups always. And one group is one is always hydrogenated. Right in aldehydes. So in aldehydes, only acetaldehyde will respond to halofoam reaction. Right now, coming to ketones, this is your ketone. Now, in ketones, one there are two alkyl groups. Right for this to occur, right for this group, one of the alkyl groups, if you have one of the alkyl groups is, is methyl group, then that means it always contains this group, right? And those ketones that contain methyl group, right, are known as methyl ketones. Methyl ketones. So methyl ketones will always contain this group, right? So methyl ketones will always give you, will always give you halofoam reaction, right? So this can be used as a test. This reaction can be used as a test to distinguish between methyl ketones and other ketones, right? So I'll just type it over here. Can be used to test methyl ketones from other ketones, right? I hope this is clear. So one important condition for aldehyde or ketone to show this halofoam reaction is it should contain CH3CO group. Right? Based on this only acetaldehyde will give you halofoam reaction among aldehydes and among ketones all methyl ketones will give you halofoam reaction. So this test can be used as a test to distinguish between methyl ketones from other ketones. Right? Now coming on to the other reactant sodium hypohalite which is used to oxidize your CH3CO group, right? Basically, in this reaction, you get a precipitate. If we are using, in place of X, if we use, if we use halogen called iodine, this is this would be your sodium hypoiodide. 
So with sodium hypoiodide, you will get a precipitate, a yellow precipitate of iodoform. We'll just see that in a moment. So how will you prepare this? This is prepared from an alkali and a halogen. It will give you NaX plus NaOx plus water. Right? Now suppose you want sodium hypoiodide. What you will do is you will take sodium hydroxide, treat it with iodine. It will give you sodium iodide plus NaOI, sodium hypoiodide plus water. Right? Now this sodium hypoiodide will oxidize aldehyde or a ketone containing this group. For example, if you have say CH3, you say you have R, CH3. So sodium hypoiodide or let's say sodium hypohalite, let's write it in generic way, will react to give you what it will do is this sodium hypoiodide will replace all three hydrogen atoms of this aldehyde or a ketone. In case of aldehyde, this R would be replaced by H. Right? To give you CX3. Right? Plus sodium. Right? It gives you all the three hydrogen atoms you can see are replaced by iodine or any halogen group. Right? Plus sodium hydroxide. Right. So what is this? This compound is obtained by replacing all the three hydrogen atoms of aldehyde or a ketone with halogen atom. So this is your halogen derivative. Halogen derivative of aldehyde or ketone. Right. Now this will further hydrolyze with sodium hydroxide to give you the required compound right now this will R will react with sodium hydroxide right to give you now this will react since the reaction is on this it will give you CHX3 Right. In case of if you are using chlorine, if you are using sodium hypochlorite, it would be CHCl3. Right. If you are using iodine, it would be CHI3. Right. So this is what you will get as the main compound. And the other would be the sodium salt of fatty acid or sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Right. This is what you will get. Sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Sorry. So you will always get a sodium salt of carboxylic acid and this. Halofoam. This is your halofoam. That is why we call it a halofoam reaction. Right. You can also write this reaction in other way. Like if you write, if you don't want to write it all this, you can you also get this reaction in this way. You have treated with halogen plus sodium hydroxide, and you will get RC RCO Na plus CHX3, right? Which is your iodoform plus sodium oxide plus water. Right? You need to balance this equation. So this is what you get. Right? If you want to write it in the single form. Now let's write a one reaction. Right? This is the generic reaction. Right? Now if suppose we want to suppose we are taking iodine in place of halogen we are taking iodine. So what we will get is plus iodine plus sodium hydroxide it will give you RCONA which is the sodium salt of carboxylic acid plus CHI3 plus sodium iodide plus water 
This is your precipitate, a yellow precipitate. This is an important reaction, right? So this reaction, to this reaction, all those compounds will respond that contains this group, which is your methyl ketones, all methyl ketones and acetaldehyde in case of aldehydes, right? I hope this reaction is clear. This is an important reaction, right? And to this test, when we are using iodine, we call this test as iodoform test. We call this test as iodoform test. Since we are using iodine in case of in place of halogen, so instead of calling halophone, we call it as iodoform test. And in iodoform test, you will get a yellow precipitate of iodoform, right? Or when you treat, when you do this iodoform test with those aldehydes and ketones that contains this CH3CO, right? And the other important thing is this reaction is also given by those compounds that contain groups that are that can be oxidized to this group, right? That means there are some alcohols, right? That contains those groups. So alcohols those that, that contains CH3, COH, and H. All alcohols that contain this group. Right, will give you positive halophone test. Why? Because this group, when you react this group, right, when you take compounds containing this group, right, and make them to undergo this reaction, this will get oxidized to this, right, this will get oxidized to CH3CO, right, this group. So that is why all compounds that those those compounds that contain this group also, like right? CH3, CH, right, and you have OH alcohols, they also respond positively to iodoform test or any halophorm test because these groups, this alcohol group, can be oxidized to this CH3 CO group, right? I hope this is clear. Now, if you want to look at some ketones, like right? if I talk about this ketone. CH3, CH2, this is what? This is a ketone that contains CH3 group. This is a methyl ketone. So it responds positively to halophone reaction because it contains this group. The other is this. Right? So when you, if you make it to undergo this reaction, right, what you will get? You will get, if you treat it with iodine and sodium hydroxide, what you will get? You will get CHI3 plus CH3CH2CO in CH3CH2CO in right so fatty so sodium salt of carboxylic acid plus you will get sodium iodide plus water right and if you talk about another, say anything else, you have rest, all we have uh, all already taken care of, right? So this is, this is a simple, basically this is a test that is used to, to distinguish compounds, though that contains this group or this group, right? Now, where, since we are talking about aldehydes and ketones, so all methyl ketones contain this group, so they will respond to Paul Heloform reaction. And only acetaldehyde contains this group, so it will respond to Heloform reaction, right? Or if you talk about specifically iodoform reaction, the yellow precipitate will form only in case of methyl ketones or in case of aldehyde, right? Or those compounds that contain this group, this alcohol group, right? because it gets easily oxidized to this group, right? I hope this is clear. So just remember, and remember that uh, this iodoform test specifically, because most of the time this is asked in exams, where you get a yellow precipitate of iodoform, right? I hope this is clear, thanks.